Oh, this is easy, and I'm going to show you how to make a vac cleaner uh, using Chichubots. Uh, this is for the D7 Wanhu, I guess I pronounced that right. It's the vac cleaner uh, script that you can download below, below the video and install it in your printer and try it. I'm going to give you a clean version, uh, then I'm going to go out back through it here and kind of give you a little bit more detail of uh, what's going on so it doesn't sound too darn confusing. I had made this in uh, Chichubots, I think I pronounced that right and I use this to slice okay uh, this is produces an image and this when it cures it's going to cure in the bottom of the vat and it's going to cure within nine seconds okay and it's going to make my vat really easy to clean out so uh, we'll load up an uh, image here as you can see here I have this uh, mono price uh, printer same thing basically as the land house 7 uh, very important two things to remember take the build plate off okay and the second thing is when I installed the uh, zip file here, which is a CWS inside the zip file, that's going to be my vat cleaner. Okay, when we do this, we're going to do a test, um, but when we get ready to clean a vat, we actually have to shut the uh, printer back off manually with a button in the back, because this thing will not, for some reason, print twice. So, as an example, we're going to go to the next step. So, I'll click here, and you can see here it's loading up the mono price with the vat off as it's loading. And then I'm going to load up the uh, vac cleaner um, through the USB here and get ready to print it. All right, as you can see, it's 50%. And if we look uh, here on the uh, display screen, there's my image. This is going to be a skim after it cures inside the vat. Okay, we're just doing this as a test with the vat off to check it out. Uh, it's pretty quick, nine seconds, and you can probably adjust it to do ten seconds. I think nine's probably a little bit better, uh, so it doesn't burn too hard into the film. So basically here it is with the bat on and then we got some resin in here, okay? Let's just say, for example, we did a print and it's kind of messy back here. We got little hard spots inside the vat and we want to clean it without putting a scraper in there. Putting a scraper in this film is not a good idea. You do not want to scratch this film at all. I don't use any scraper. I don't use anything to uh, scratch it. So basically I put the uh, bat on here and as you can see it's 50%. And as I'm printing it with the bill plate off, because we don't want to smash it down into the uh, resin here, and then in 100% it is done. All right. So when it's done, as you can see, it might be a little hard in the video. I got the uh, vat sideways, and you can see this little skim in here. Uh, the skim here is going to be easy to clean out. So when I go to the next step, all I did was here's a skim right here laying on the side of the vat. Is I took this paper towel, put it on the bottom of the vat. Pushed it up with my finger, then I got the corner of the skim here and just used my fingernail and it peeled right off in one one sheet. Really easy to do. Alright, so when I did that, as you can see that here's the skim laying down here. I use this uh, pump, one liter pump sprayer, and I spray it in here. You know, you could do it before uh, if you want to clean a little resin out or if you can stick your finger in there with the resin, it doesn't matter. And once I cleaned it out and pulled the skim out, I use the pump sprayer and I clean it out and I just I just let it you know drain out I don't even put a paper towel in there there's nothing scratches this vat uh, I like I said I just once I spray this really good because it's got a lot of pressure it blows everything out and I don't really don't need a paper towel and just shake it out a little bit and when I'm done I put my resin back in here as you can see here's the skim here and uh, if you did any kind of uh, uh, printing earlier and it's got little droplets gets hard inside the vat this actually this uh, skim will attach to it and peel that off also to make it really easy all right now this is the simple version okay now another thing is if you're into the chichibots or however you pronounce it um, like I said I did this settings here and this produces uh, by the layer height how many images for some reason uh, if you get it the layer height where it produces one image well what will happen it is it'll be the black image and you want the black and white so if you pr produce by change the layer out to where when you slice it, it gets two images the first one will be black then the second one will be black and white we want the first one black and white so basically what I did was uh, I did a little modifications and just per I sliced it with two images and then I got the one that's got black and white did a little modifications and just got rid of the black one so all it's actually printing is one image so, so if 
that makes uh, sense to you, uh, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, if anybody knows how to do this in the G-code, is to stop the printer from homing. Um, basically, is uh, if we go back here, as you see, I took the uh, build plate off because I don't want this. Because when you start to print this, this will come down. And if you have the build plate on here, it's going to go in the vat. I do not want this going in the vat, okay? Because I don't want it to uh, cure to the bottom of the uh, the build plate to the resin. So that's why I ask you to take the build plate off. Uh, if you can get it to stop homing in the GECO and somebody knows how, that would be great and could maybe show me how. Uh, then you could probably do it with the uh, build plate on. But anyway, like I said, the zip file will be below the video. You can try it. And this uh, uh, will work uh, for the D7. And uh, basically it's set up for this size here. It could work for other printers, but if you want to customize and make your own, this is basically how you do it. As you can see here, as I go to the top view, I got little bevel edges instead of points down here. Uh, that's easy where I get my fingernails underneath here. We don't want something with a, you know, a long rectangle square here with points. So that's why I rounded the corners. But anyway, that's it. Thank you very much.